2021 marks the 25th anniversary of FXR Racing, and I've been working with this company since day one, first with Supertrax Magazine, then when I raced Snowcross with Lester Brothers Racing, and finally today at Snowtrax TV. Over the course of those 25 years, FXR's founder, Milt Reimer, has become much more than just a business associate. I would consider him a friend, and I can honestly say there are very few people in this industry as passionate and dedicated as Milt. So it was an enormous struggle, and but over a course of two, three, uh, two years of development, and the development, I right away started noticing a big difference when I was racing, when I could add venting and very lightweight product and really realized, because I was doing mostly cross country and then some ice Le Mans, but they were usually hour long events, but you really had to be cold on the starting line and, and uh, get your hands to survive that. And, uh, but then the intensity of the race would quickly bring your body temperature up very rapidly and, and you would now have to be able to control that uh, by the layers you wore and the kind of venting you were putting through. Milt himself used to race snowmobiles and each season he puts big miles on his own fleet of sleds. I guess you could say that his focus on building the world's best snowmobile gear is just a little bit selfish. I say that in jest, but the truth is he's not just building it for us, he is building it for himself as well. This is exactly why FXR products have always worked exactly how we, as riders, want them to. Milt doesn't just design gear, he's also a diehard snowmobiler just like you and me. On top of all that, he has also surrounded himself with employees who are just as dedicated to developing the best riding gear possible as he is. And I think this really shines in the functional designs, unique innovations, and technology that is used to make FXR gear. The idea for FXR came to Milt back in his racing days. As a racer, he realized no one was making functional gear designed specifically for the unique needs of snowmobile racers. Milt decided that if no one else was going to do it, he would. So he sat down in his garage and began designing and building prototype snowmobile race gear. Because he was a racer, it didn't take him long to come up with the designs that solved problems he himself had identified during his time on the track. The gear worked, other riders wanted it, and thus, FXR was born. Obviously, over the years, the product selection has grown to include not just snowmobile race gear, but trail and mountain gear, casual wear, motocross gear, and most recently, snowboard outerwear and clothing specifically designed for fishermen both summer and winter. The trail and mountain gear is really the backbone of the company though. The number of riders from all over the world who want high quality and highly functional riding gear and are therefore choosing FXR is growing by the day. FXR selection now includes literally every piece of clothing that you need to ride in any condition. But the question that I think has the most interesting answer is this, why does FXR gear work so well? And the answer is innovation and technology. Outerwear materials are changing on what seems like a daily basis. It would be a huge mistake to assume that all snowmobile gear is simply Gore-Tex with insulation. That couldn't be farther from the truth. Materials and technologies like Omni Stretch Trilaminate, Hydrix Pro, Thermal Flex, ACMT, FAST, Dry Vent, Thermal Dry, Dry Link, these are just some of the innovations that make FXR outerwear so comfortable and functional. Obviously, protecting a rider from the cold and keeping them dry is the first and most basic function of outerwear in general. But FXR has also developed some new technologies and designs that are focused more on safety. FAST, or Flotation Assist Safety Technology, is an insulation developed by FXR to keep you above the surface if you ever end up in the water and help keep you warm when you get out. Its ability to insulate when dry float when you're in the water, then drain water when you get out, make suits equipped with this technology some of the safest in the industry. And FXR has even gone to the extremes of making sure every kid's suit they sell is equipped with fast flotation. Other technology is focused on keeping you dry. 
Drylink is a system that allows you to zip your jacket to your pants, thus creating a barrier that stops snow dust from going up your back when you're riding in deep snow. Still other technology is focused on comfort and convenience. The BOA lacing system used on many of FXR's high-end boots allows for quick and easy entry and exit and extremely precise adjustment for a perfect fit and all-day comfort. My personal favorite is the Helium Dual BOA. With the Dual BOA system, I can have a nice tight fit over the top of my foot, but a looser fit around my shin so I can still walk. I have to say one of the best technologies to come out of FXR in the past few seasons is something that's not new. Others have tried it, but their systems simply didn't work properly. It's heated gloves. Because everyone at FXR rides sleds, the battery-operated heated glove design they came up with works exactly how you want it to. The heating element is only on the back of the hand and fingers. This is because your snowmobile hot grips take care of heating your palm, so no element is needed there. The batteries fit in the cuff of the glove where you barely notice them, and the waterproof button shines either green, orange, or red to signify low, medium, or high. After three seasons of riding with my first pair of heated recon gloves, they still work perfect and are as warm and comfortable as they were on day one. The original batteries still work great, but I have three sets now so I can keep one on the charger, one set in the gloves, and one set in my pocket for the longest and coldest days. The battery-powered heat concept has now migrated from gloves to goggles. The Maverick e-goggle will keep your lens fog-free without needing to be plugged into the sled, and that is sweet. As I said in the beginning, FXR was born on the racetrack and the first FXR products were for racers. Since then, FXR has been heavily involved in snowmobile racing of every kind. Their support of the industry's top racers and racing series has not only given FXR an extremely high profile in the industry, but through the feedback of the riders, it's helped develop better products year after year. But Milt's dedication to racing and racers is best showcased by his sponsorship of the mobile medical unit that travels between snowcross races in the US and provides immediate medical attention to riders injured on the track. The benefits of this were twofold. First, it was a tangible way for FXR to give something back to the racing community that has been supporting him. And second, it gave Milt the ability to build safer riding gear by observing injuries sustained on the track and designing products that would help to prevent them. This was great for racers, but did it actually benefit trail riders and mountain riders as well? You bet it did. Just like with race sleds, the technology developed on the track inevitably made the gear that you and I wear on the trail and the mountain better as well. For 25 years, Milt Reimer and the whole crew at FXR has worked tirelessly to provide snowmobile riders of all kinds with the most functional, durable, and best looking gear in the industry. For everyone at FXR, this is way more than just a job. This is a passion. What does the future hold for FXR? Simply looking back at the past and then to where they are today is proof that Milt has no intentions of letting off the throttle. More innovation, more technology, and even better products are what FXR is all about. So I can only imagine what the next 25 years will bring. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you click that like button. And we upload new content every week, so if you don't want to miss out on any of that stuff, make sure you subscribe so you get notifications whenever something new pops up.